What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey, guys, good morning. Jonathan here, and I'm getting ready to head to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, I'm headed down for a convention called Con Nuga. I don't know how much Lego stuff they'll have, but sometimes that's the fun. When you go to a convention that obviously isn't a Lego convention, you never know what you'll find. But I'm also looking for the Kenner Marion Ravenwood figure. She's an expensive one from Indiana Jones. And I'm also looking for Tobey Maguire era Spider-Man stuff. I'm going to hit some stores in the general Chattanooga area too and do some hunting. So come along and let's see what I can find. I absolutely love driving through Tennessee if for no other reason than great scenic views like this pretty much everywhere you go. All right, I've arrived in beautiful Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm on the top of the parking garage here and getting ready to head in. Let's see what I find. So the con was cash only and they did not tell you that on the way in. So already off to a little bit of a rough start, but at least the fun can start now. <laughs> the card? Yeah. One thing you want to be careful of at conventions is fake Lego. All of these are fake Lego, and you know, I used to like these back in the day, but I really don't anymore. I think that a lot of them look pretty cheap, so if you find a bunch of figures like this and they're priced really cheap, chances are it's too good to be true and they're all fakes. Well, it's hard to say the convention was a total bust, but it was dang close to it. Uh, you saw that I didn't see too much Lego stuff, no Kenner Marion, and uh, no Toby stuff, but I did get two Lego sets. So first and foremost, got this uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Jet versus Venom mech. Um, this is a retired set. It has Spider-Man Noir in it, so that's kind of the appeal of that one. And then I got Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber, which is a cool set. And I paid $75 for both, and considering this set alone makes up most of that if I went to buy it at, like, Walmart or the Lego store right now, that's definitely pretty good. So, you know, it wasn't a total bust, but, you know, the two-hour drive all the way to Chattanooga, eh, not quite worth it. But I am hitting some more stores while I'm out here, so it's not a total wash, but I don't think I'll ever come back to Chattanooga. Uh, a lot of cosplay, a lot of art which are great in their own right, but not great for me hunting toys. Anyways, let's see what else I get into out here. All right, we're getting started here with day two. I ended up hanging out in Chattanooga last night. It was a good time, but uh, today we're going to hit lots of cool antique stores and some toy stores and see what we find. So come along. I started off the day getting breakfast at Aretha Frankenstein's. Look at these giant pancakes, and I got a sausage biscuit too, but these pancakes were massive. I mean, look at them next to my hand. They were great too. So for those of you that watch a lot of my vlogs, you may recognize the East Ridge Antique District. It's a giant plaza that's full of nothing but antique stores. Now, if you come here, not all of them are great for finding toys. A lot of them are like furniture and home decor based, but there are great toys to be found here. So let's get right to it and start digging. So we've got a bunch of Beanie Babies here, one of which is the Princess Diana version. Now, you can see that some of these sell for crazy money. I don't know if this is the valuable version or not, but honestly, I'm just going to get it and try my luck. I'll do the research when I get home. But yeah, let's keep hunting. Found this cool Episode 1 JCPenney catalog. Got a little Lego ad in it, but I'm going to leave it. Check out these awesome Last Crusade Indiana Jones cups. They're $7 a piece. Honestly, that kind of feels expensive, but I've never seen them before, so I am gonna get them. Yeah, no. Well, definitely had some good finds at these stores. In no specific order, we had that Indiana Jones cup and it ended up being on sale and was only $4.90. So, you know, comping that to eBay, that's about what they go for, so that was super fair. Uh, as I mentioned, I did get this Princess Diana Beanie Baby. I paid 20 for it, which is high, definitely high, but 
you know, the ones on eBay, some of them are going for crazy money, and I don't know, I just felt like taking a gamble. Who knows, maybe I'll get 20 grand for it. I doubt it, but we'll see. Got all these really cool postcards. If you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know that I really love postcards. Got a Universal Studios. This looks like it's from the 60s. So we've got a Disneyland here, a Magic Kingdom one. We've got a Frontierland one, Las Vegas. Anyways, let's uh, keep trucking. We've got lots more booths and stores and antique places to hit today, and maybe even a toy store at the end. So come along. All right, about to head into Gateway Antiques, quite possibly my favorite antique store in the world. You guys will see why if you haven't already on some previous vlogs, but there are just so many toys here. It's crazy. Well, found a Toby item. This is an old walkie-talkie. You would like hold this button in and then you could talk into the back and there were speakers on the front. See those little holes? Pretty cool item. It's 11 bucks. Uh, I think I am gonna get it. It is a little beat up, but I think it's a good investment. Obviously, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> I found this Spider-Man cling hang thing from Spider-Man 3, but there's no price tag on it. I'm gonna find out what it is, but uh, yeah, I really want this. Spider-Man 2 transparent lunchbox. That is pretty cool. So this guy's got 50% off, so that makes that $400 castle 200. Nothing here that I'm really interested in. The striker is pretty cool. It's 85, so half off to somewhere in the 40s. Got the Avengers set back there. That's 85, so puts you somewhere in the 40s on that one as well. I don't know, that might be a good deal. I gotta think about that one. But yeah, it's uh, pretty rare to see 50% off in general in these stores, let alone on exactly what I'm here to get. Unfortunately, just nothing's really jumping out at me that I just like absolutely have to have. But it is cool nonetheless. I saw this really cool Spider-Man cookie jar. It's the Toby era for 85 last time I was here. And it's in really nice shape and it's cool, but it is missing its box. Uh, this time it's 40% off, but even so that still puts it around the $50 mark. and. As much as I wanted, I think it's still too much. If it had the box, I would do it. But without the box, still too much. Well, as you guys saw, there was a lot on sale in there. And the reason why I found out at the end is they're closing. You heard me on the way in say that's my favorite antique store. But they're actually merging with another store, which ironically will be my next stop. But let's check in and see what I got in the haul. I ended up buying that uh, Hulk... Helicarrier Breakout. This is one of the first Lego Marvel sets from 2012. It is 100% sealed, so brand new in the box, and it was only $40. All right, this is a pretty weird one. I don't know if you guys will be as into this as I am, but this is called a rock and roller. Trying to make sure it doesn't get too blown out there. There's an actual CD in there, and it's for the song Surf City by Jan and Dean, which was written by Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, who, of course, I love. I got this uh, plushy thing I showed you for $2, and I got this big spider-man figure for 10 so remember he's a walkie-talkie but with that being said i want to get on the road and trucking the next stop is called grumpy's and we've got some uh headway to make so let's get on getting <laughs> All right, so this is Grumpy's Antiques in Ringgold, Georgia. It's massive. It's so big that they even sell cars inside. But I have found some decent toys here over the years. So let's see if we can try our luck again and see what we find today. Got some vintage Star Wars this is here. A real deal. <laughs> Somebody made this up. You know you're in a big antique store when they literally sell vehicles in the middle of it. I mean, come on. <laughs> 
Not a lot of good finds. Uh, Master Yoda was right when he says size matters not because even though that is a huge store, just not as many good finds there. I did get a bag of Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure parts. They were a dollar a piece, and I should be able to get five to ten per piece. So let's just say, you know, on the high end, ten dollars. That's forty dollars for a four dollar investment. Stuff like that helps pay for the trip and make it worth it real quick. Uh, I also got this really random Daredevil Kingpin uh, pin from 2003 from the original Daredevil movie. It was 50 cents. I just couldn't leave it behind. And you guys know how I love weird random promo stuff. All right. With that being said, I have one more planned stop. Who knows what else could happen? But uh, let's see. This last one seems like it should be pretty interesting. So let's check it out together. All right. This is Battleground Games and Comics in Dalton, Georgia. Let's go ahead and see what they got inside. So right away walking into this store, it is pretty mind-blowing. You've got board games, you've got statues, you've got toys, props. It's just an incredible store all around. I'll let the video speak for itself, but this place is just phenomenal. You've got to check it out if you're ever in Dalton, Georgia. So as if the store itself isn't cool enough, they literally have an arcade in the store. So cool. They did have a little Lego section and it was early Lego Batman movie sets, but something even crazier happened right after this. Well, timing is absolutely everything. So I walked into the store and uh, there was a awesome dude there who was asking if the store bought Lego sets. And long story short, uh, he ended up selling me two of them direct. So check this out. We've got the original Lego AT-AT. What year was this from? Uh, 2003, it says on the box. So we've got the original Lego at, -AT here, and we've got the original Millennium Falcon here as well. Just incredible. I mean, you can open it up. It's all there. A uh, little dusty, but nothing that I haven't ever cleaned off before. So definitely super cool and uh, just unbelievable. Timing is everything. So that's going to bring a close to this video. And uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite part of the trip and haul was, and I will catch you guys next time. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.